Welcome to the Preacher Plays Enotria, the last song. At least I think that is how you pronounce it. Can I rant for just a moment as we get ready for what is the first run of this game? It's not going to be a complex rant, but it is this improvements roadmap. And can I just notice a few items here? The September Fast Patch number one item is a sickness status nerf. If you know that you're going to nerf sickness, why don't you implement it before you release the game? If you know you're going to have to balance difficulty, try to have some more gameplay settings that don't involve early releases. And I just have a minuscule problem with this constant trend these days to release everything in an unfinished state. All right, my rant is over. Let's hit start. Starting the game in Otria, the last song. All right, we're going to see if we can't get it going on Steam here. And maybe we get the first splash screen. Jama Games. Appreciate that. Unreal Engine powered by... Well, uh, all right. All very common stuff. This is first run, guys. Let's see what this is going to look like. All right. See the little, uh, looks almost like a Celtic knot. Can't quite tell. Epilepsy in seizure warning. Okay, this is your warning as well as mine. That would have made a nice title screen. As also that would have made a nice, nice title screen. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll change up everything and make that my title screen. What do you think? It's not doing it? It's not doing it. Hold on. There we go. In Otria, the last song, this is menus and settings. If you are not familiar with how I do episodes, episode zero is not the game. So if you don't want to watch anything and you're done with my rant, you can go ahead and go hit episode one, which is going to release immediately at the same time as this, or just right after it. And uh, this will bring you along on the journey. And my goodness, that background sound, which you can only just now hear, is just a little bit loud. I kind of like it. Listening to the theme music as we go. All right, not interested in a new game. This is Enotria, the last song, episode zero. Let's take a look at the settings that we have. We're not going to do a new game yet. Um, okay, right stick sensitivity. Oh, golly. I'm not going to read through all of this. You can take a pic or a screenshot, as the case may be. Uh, if we hold left trigger, we get Ardor Actions Modifier. Ardore? Ardore. Left button is parry. That's going to be important, I think, in this game. Right button is attack repost. And the right trigger is heavy attack. Okay, so far so good. Menu, we will use that button. We'll be moving and grooving along with that and rotating the camera with our... Okay, everything is pretty standard. Switch your weapon. Next tool, previous tool, switch your loadout. Left trigger plus YBA or X, or probably not all of them, is use lines, which I think is the, what do we want to call it? It is the, um, what's the uh, magic? It's like the magic in this game, I think. Ardor burst is left trigger and right button. Do you think I'm going to remember that at the right moment? No, no, I am not. Okay, YBAX. I just said I wasn't going to read all of this, but I'm doing it. Use Armonia Amber. I don't know what that is. I wonder if that's a healing item. I bet it is. It, oh, that's not good. If Armonia Amber is the healing item, and it's statically attached to a button that is not on my tool belt, that means I will be accidentally healing and wasting my Armonia Amber all the time. I am not a pro gamer that only hits the buttons I want. I always hit the wrong button. B is dodge, A is jump, and X is use whatever tool is currently active. Okay, and I have to hit escape to go back. I cannot use a back button, right? Oh, yes, I can. There we go. Okay, I can adjust the, the sensitivity of the mouse. I'm not going to. Uh, let's see. Whoa, the game has crashed fatal error. Be right back. All right, we are back where we were. Let's take a look again. Here we have auto, we have camera access. We're going to leave that where it is normal. 
I do like that on the right hand side of the screen, by the way, it tells you, and there's actually help text. <gasps> oh, be still my heart. There's actually visible help text. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie Games. Jayama Games, whatever you're called. I appreciate that. I just noticed it and I'm grateful. All right. Auto loot is going to be on. When on, you will automatically pick up common loot and compendium entries by walking over them. When off, you can collect loot by pressing the interaction input. Well, why would you ever turn that off? To me, I like auto lock for the most part, unless it's like the uh, the dragonflies or the whatever they're called in Elden Ring. All right, screen mode, borderless. I'm at 1440. Brightness seems maybe okie dokie. Mm. I'm going to turn... Uh, no, I'm not. Actually, I don't think I need V-Sync. FPS limit. On this particular model, uh, I cannot go over 75 on this monitor, so I'm going to lock it at 60. Actually. Um, can I... There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Performance boost. Ah! Select the performance boost technology. Some options might not be supported by your graphics card. So this would enable me to use AMD Fidelity. Uh, that probably downsizes the resolution, I, I think. Gosh, I really should read up on this. I think it downsizes resolution in order to up increase your frame output. But I don't think, I don't think that's going to be necessary at this point. Uh, I don't need frame generation or super res. Um, Fidelity FX interpret interpolation. I stand corrected. AMD Fidelity FX allows you to integrate better graphics without doing uh, some of the background stuff. So we'll switch that over. We'll do it right there. Okay, now let's go on down. Uh, these things. I don't need Intel XE, so that should be off, right? Um... I guess that's been grayed out because I can't do anything with it now. Native triple A. I've never really understood what some of those do, but. Oh, good heavens. Fidelity FX sharpness. Okay, colorblind mode. Ah, good. Blue lizard jello. You might be able to appreciate that. I don't have colorblind, so it won't affect me. And you can set the strength for it. That is pretty cool. I do appreciate them including that in games because especially some of these games are so set on specific symbols being in specific colors. Uh, and that's really helpful in a game like this that is set to summer mode. Auto set your quality. Well, um, I'm going for basically ultra and we're going to find out what kind of feedback we get on that. Motion blur? No. Thank you. No, nauseating in the most. To me, audio. Okay, master volume. We are going to tone down the Muzak. I don't mind the Muzak, but I don't want it overwhelming everything else. And it can. It can so easily. Special effects, we're going to put you at 90. And dialogue at 100%. That's, I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Because I really like the fact that we can hear the music. The special effects, the, the clang of sword, uh, flex, e flex, the clang of swords and so forth, as well as making dialogue the most audible it can possibly be. As a matter of fact, I may pull that down a little bit more. Uh, that gives me the freedom to turn up the recording volume without feeling like I have to be yelling into the microphone in order to make up for it. Text language, yes, English, yes, English. I do like that. You can add Italian if you wanted to hear the original, which uh, frankly, I don't, but that's good. Good. Okay, going on. And honestly, that looks like the settings. And so why to apply? Uh, do you want to apply or discard? I hit Y to apply and nothing happened. So now we're going to hit A to apply. And hold it. Oh, maybe I didn't hold Y to apply. Well, that is completely on me. Allow me to read you some of the description items. Welcome to the Preacher Blaze, an Otria of the Last Song, a Mediterranean sun-soaked take on the Souls-like genre action RPG. Inspired by Italian history and folklore, it is defined as a Souls-like, but unlike other Souls-likes, we are depicting a world based off Italian summer colors, as we call it, Summer Soul. Masks will be the unique element of an Otria, 
each mask a strategic choice which changes both NPC interactions as well as your customizable loadouts, all without the burden of a respec. I'm looking forward to it, and we will find out exactly what is coming up next. Thank you for joining me on episode zero. I am the preacher. This is an Ochre the Last Song. I'll see you in just a moment. <laughs>